Hey everyone, we're here at Carolina Bully Farms. I was going to do a little bit of a bully history lesson slash just a lesson, I guess, today. Just on the breed and where it come from and, and where I, I guess it's, it's kind of went in this direction and why we try and stay on our own path, sort of separate from the whole breed. Just, cause, just from the beginning when we started breeding, we had our own vision. To give you a little background for the people that don't know uh, about the bully, it started with pit bulls and it was just the bulliest pit bulls and bred down and bred down with uh, Staffordshire Terriers and bred together to make the bulliest dogs. And obviously I know people's gonna say, well, other stuff's been mixed in. Definitely nowadays, you see these exotics and uh, whatever else they're called. Obviously they're not pure bullies, but um, the reason I wanted to talk about it was when we first got started a few years ago, all the dogs was bigger dogs, 17, 18 inch dogs. And everyone thought we, when we first started, we wanted them really short. And we was kind of on the cutting edge of the pocket extreme movement, wanting them really short. And they couldn't believe how short we wanted them. And now, uh, and that was fine, you know. Um, we still wanted a big dog, though. We wanted a dog on a big frame. Like Too Fat here is, you know, as short as you really want to go. He's a pocket pit. He's still got a ton of muscle. He's still an intimidating dog, powerful looking. Still a real dog. And he's still got the features of a, a bully. You know, where he's reminiscent of a pit bull. He's a real dog, move around, just gorgeous little bully. And uh, I mean, just really the perfect pocket pit. And uh, just some history on the bullies. I mean, if you look back to when the breed was really at its high, the best when, you know, shows were the biggest and all. If you look at dogs that was big back then, like Hef, uh, King Goggy is a little more on the extreme side of those dogs. And then uh, uh, King Kamali, some of the cleaner dogs that was winning the shows. Uh, all those dogs was gorgeous. Bang was one of the first extreme dogs. Sideshow, Corrupt, those those uh, more old school extreme dogs was extreme. You know, they had extreme features, but it wasn't extremely small or extremely short. It was just, they was just, wow, when you see them, they was mind blowing. And some of these dogs you see on the internet nowadays, they've lost what a bully's supposed to be. And that's when it walks up and you see it in person, it just is like, wow. Because to people in the bully world, they kind of got caught up on let's get it shorter, let's make it shorter, make its muzzle even shorter. And that's when other breeds and stuff started coming in. And to the people in the bully world, they got caught up in that because it was cool and it was hard to do for a bully. But what you don't realize is when you walk that out in a park or the general public, it just looks like any other small breed dog, a Frenchie or, you know, Pug or whatever it is. And uh, probably because that's what's mixed in. But it's uh, it loses what the bully breed was supposed to be. It loses that big, powerful, gorgeous dog uh you know that it's supposed to be and two fat here is my example of what a pocket should be and that's what we was carolina bully farms is all about when we first got into it you know starting the pocket movement and i'll bring you in our you know main man here and, and it was a, a healthy pocket too uh, uh Come here, boy. just like low money that cody's going to show you how many nowadays they, they take these little bitty short dogs and they try to put all this girth on them and, and I'm not gonna name names, but Mo Money's eight years old and he's still out playing all day long wide open. How many of those real exotic dogs do you know that is even close to eight years old? You won't know any because their heart gives out about two and a half, three years old. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at Mo here, I mean, anywhere Mo goes, he's causing a scene. He's just, wow, look at that dog. People wanna take a step back, but then when they see him, He's gentle and sweet and, I mean, just a big baby. And that right there is pretty much what sums up an American bully. A big, powerful dog, but it's just a big sweetheart. And uh, Mo is what represents CBF and what we try and produce again and again. We don't want to take it any further. We just want to keep producing this over and over and over again. Just keep producing our look. Uh, and some people want something different. Some people would rather... You know, see that exotic look, but we just want to keep producing Mo. You know, keep producing him, and you know, do it in different forms. We've got our, you know, we got Mo. He's got his look. Too fat represents the pocket, more smaller side of that. And then if you look at Big Man over here, here, Mom, you go ahead and take keep that Too Fat in the house if you want. Then you got Big Boy here. Come on. To represent country is more of the, you know, the even more so extreme version. And when you say extreme. You think, well, most shorter than him, and a lot of people think extreme means uh, country should be shorter, but extreme means more mass, more head size, more weight, but still on a smaller, shorter frame. 
uh, on a bully size frame. An extreme should not be, you know, pocket height. It should be a regular bully height. But then some people want to have, you know, say that their XL is extreme or say that, you know, you get those micro dogs and call them extreme. This is what an extreme bully is. This is uh, almost 27 inch head, 120 some pounds monster and still functional, still, I mean, just perfect. And so, yeah, we're going to be, you know, breeding country and producing his look too and just getting more and more of these gorgeous dogs out here. I mean, this is what the breed is to us. This is what the breed is to CBF. And I think when the American Bully was created, this is what it was meant to be. I mean, these are, to me, the main categories of the American Bully. I think if you look at either the classic category, which I don't know how the classic category got left in the shows and the extreme category got taken out. That's one reason we stopped showing. Because the classic category represents the pit bull. Extreme here, uh, only reason I could figure they would get rid of extreme would be because people took it in that micro direction, took it in the wrong way, or either, I guess it's it's really hard to produce a dog like this, so there's not many in the show ring. But that shouldn't matter, you shouldn't get rid of that. You know, the easiest dog to produce is the classics, they're all, all over the place. But they left that and got rid of one of the main bully classes. To me, the classes that represent bully is extreme, like Mo and Country here, and then Too Fat Pocket Pit. Yeah, the classic is a pit bull, so, you, you, if you want to show classic, you, I mean, you could be showing a, a standard pit bull because that's what classic is. Yeah, is back I mean, when they were next to just a little off from pit bulls, and then, I think we got everything covered with Mo Money, with Big Country, and with uh, with Too Fat, and 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 then we got Chubbs in there too. We just bringing in some more blood, but he still fits in with all these. And as far as getting any more exotic. No, we've reached our breeding goal. We're not wanting to get any more exotic. We just want to keep producing these dogs right here. You got different colors, different head shapes. You got a, uh, a an extreme, huge, ex with, with the, the hugest 27 inch head. And you got this, this an extreme bully uh, that is an extreme champion. So they can't nobody say, well, he's not extreme. He's an extreme champion when they had extremes, when there was 30 dogs in the extreme class. And then two fat, is not in a, a champion pocket yet, but that's because we don't show no more. He's entered about seven shows and he's never lost. And uh, uh, they're healthy, like I say. He, how old's the big country? Three. And two facts, four, yep. five years old. And Mo Money's eight years old. And these dogs will play hard and run all day long. Uh, this, if you're gonna go spend two or three grand on a puppy, you want that dog to grow up with you and be with you. No matter how cute and cuddly it looks, if, if, if its heart's going to give out at two and a half years old or its elbows are so bowed out and messed up that it's going to have arthritis in it so bad at a year old it can't hardly walk no more, you're killing the breed. And this video at by any means bashing exotics or anything. I like all, you know, all well, the bully all breeds, those. but I just thought that, you know, I would do a video because I was talking with a customer about it today and, uh, just they were saying how they love that we still breed this style of dog and not a lot of people do anymore and I was just gonna I was just gonna put it out there to the people that don't know is that we don't want to change you know we want to keep breeding this style of dog and to me this is what the American Bully is I think the other ones they're almost a different breed you know this is what a true American Bully is so if you look back and check out some of the old American Bullies when, it, when the breed was at its height you know that's that's what you see is dogs like this but I don't want to make the video too long, but thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe, and God bless.